does not reflect the views of Spelman College or its affiliates. <laughs> also, I feel like white people use it as an excuse not to talk about black people the rest of the year. Yes, of course. They're like, we have black history month, y'all. They're like, either, no, what the hell is this? Why is it, when you think about it, why is it included in American history if it could happen on American soil? Why is it black history and not just American history? So. I want y'all to think about something. I'm gonna give y'all something to think about every time we come to class. And here's what it is. So Marcus Garvey said, a people without their knowledge of their history is like a tree without the roots, okay? So this is why you receive the watered down black history lesson every single month. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the word history for a moment. So according to Oxford's dictionary, uh, it is the study of past events, particularly in human affairs. Definition number two, it's the whole series of past events connected with a particular person or thing. Note, note, the whole series of events, okay? So check this out. And, and that's not what we're getting with Black History Month. We're definitely not getting the whole. You see, all we ever get is miraculous Negroes who escaped the slavery, right? Or we get, we get people that's, that's civil rights leaders and they fought against the oppression of white supremacy and were murdered. That's who we get year after year. And I tell you this, no disrespect to George Washington Carver, but if I hear another peanut fact, I'm just going to lose it, right? I'm hearing the same things over and over since grade school. Nothing ever changes. So have you ever wondered why they start Black History Month? It always starts off with slavery, and generally it ends in, uh, around, it ends around the civil rights movement. Now, they may throw a couple current people in there, Mae Jemison, Barack Obama, but that's really all we get. The reason why is because you're being programmed. You're being programmed not to look further into your black history. See, the reason why you're being programmed at an early age is to make you believe that your genesis starts with slavery. Therefore, your brain forms an association on the subconscious level, right, that you have not only been oppressed, but black inferiority. Y'all get it? So therefore, you are not the master of the universe, but you end up becoming the slave of it in your subconscious mind. So understand this. Now, we are being disconnected from our roots because it is not the entire series of events of black history. Now, I could even imagine the implications of being a young man, being in grade school or junior high, and you taught me in my history about Mansa Musa. Y'all know who that is, right? No. Mansa Musa was the richest man on earth. He was the king of the Mali Empire in 1312. You see, white supremacy dare not teach me about that nigga. Because that dude right there would have woken me up, made me say, you know what? I could go out here and really get the bag. You understand that he was richer than the Rothschilds. He was richer. He was richer than the Rockefeller family. And he was richer than Bill Gates. If he lived today, he'd have a net worth over a hundred, $400 billion. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Listen to what I'm telling y'all. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. So every month, listen up, every month you always have these TV shows, right? Or every month you always have these radio ads telling you about the achievements of black slaves. And guess what? They never will tell you about the achievements of black kings and queens. And that's a problem. Period. Here I have a question. Remember your roots, y'all. I just want y'all to remember your roots. Remember your roots. Questions. Go. So why? I'll send it to you. Go ahead. So if if slavery is so negative, like I understand, just because my thank you, my high school is very diverse. So mm -hmm. I was around white people, black people, Asian, every color, every type, every ethnicity. And it's like if slavery is so negative, yes, I understand you have to learn history so you don't repeat it, but that's gonna happen anyway. But why do we continue to teach slavery to children? Like something so violent and um, because children are so impressionable, like why do we keep teaching them like that? Because that's programming their minds. That's the Just whole. From an that's point. the whole point. My point is is to keep you uh, at your beginnings of slavery. You think that you came from slaves. But even the slaves weren't slaves when they came over here. Well, what were they? They were teachers, architects, right? Mothers, fathers. You got to understand, they weren't slaves when they came over here. But they want you to think when they landed in Jamestown 400 years ago, because it was 1619 when that happened, 400 years. I'm not going to even go there, y'all. The 400 years is up if you look at the Willie Lynch letter when it said all this stuff will last for 400 years. 
It's over. I told you I got an ego thing. Yeah. Go. The way I'm done. I was just thinking about that shit. When we stop saying slaves and either say like enslaved people, because slaves kind of puts like a dehumanizing like category on those people. Good job. Good job. But that's the point. That is the point to dehumanize. So it doesn't say that in the history book. It says slaves. So now as a child, when you read this, they're dehumanized. They're whipped. They're whipped. Now what's the difference? Back then, you had strange fruit hanging from the trees, right? Mm -hmm. And today, the police shoot our young down in the streets. What's the difference? So you got to understand that our brain still makes an association with the oppression. That is a part of the problem. And when you can't see yourselves being queens and kings from your beginning, then you only see yourself as slaves. And you make a connection on the subconscious level of racial inferiority. You, right? You get what I'm saying? It's white supremacy at its finest. So it is up to us as the teachers, as the educators, right, to go out and teach the truth and give the whole thing of black history. Because what they're sharing with you is only American history because it's only from a certain time frame. Mm -hmm. They don't want to give you the whole because you mess around, start digging, and find out who you are and can make a connection with that person to your greatness.